we're gonna go to the ocean. All the photos and video that you're about to see, I took under there. So what that means is that means that I was right next to the animals. But the only way that I could be next to the animals is if I know the animal behavior. This is all about imagination and that we're gonna create our lives. Do we wear goggles in the water? Do we wear, we wear goggles for swimming, but what do we wear for scuba diving? Mask because our nose is in the mask because we have pressure when we go down. So we have to wear our masks when we go diving. So remember how I told you I was gonna teach you the golden rule? So what happens is something's wrong, you might get excited and breathe really quick. <laughs> and if you breathe quick, you're gonna use your air really quick. So there could be a problem. So what we have to do is we have to learn this. Do you guys remember? Let me hear you. Stop. And because I'm an instructor, I'm trained to know how you swim and how you act and how you are. And so if you get really excited under the water, you could use your air really quick. And on land, before we take tests or before we have a sporting event or other things that happen in our lives, we get really excited, don't we? Yeah. And so we have to remember that we have to stop and think and breathe slowly. Do you remember where I come from? The sea, yes, you guys are right. I come from the sea. And who wants to be a mermaid with me? Oh, I know. You want to be a scientist. Yes, scientist. An ichthyologist is a scientist who studies fish. Okay, maybe you want to be a shark. This is us diving along a reef in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Remember that world map is one of my favorite things to look at. There's 195 countries, all with different flags, but we don't have one flag for the ocean. And yet the ocean gives us so much. So now, do you guys wanna go dive with sharks? Or should I, or should I skip that section? You definitely wanna go dive with sharks? If we're gonna go dive with sharks, we have to get our passports. Everybody get your passport. Oh, we get to go with hammerheads. How did I know you were gonna like that? This hammerhead shark um, has adapted. It is not dangerous to us at all. They eat squid and they eat small fish. And we could tell a lot about a shark by the shape of their mouths. There's 400 different species of sharks. Okay to go down? So we're gonna go with pinnipeds. You gotta put your mask on, get your fins on, ready, and put your regulator on. So we're gonna go with pinnipeds. Seals and sea lions are really fun to play with. The ones that usually come to play with us are two and three years old. So I was in the Galapagos and they were pupping. The way that the mama and the baby know one another is they know and learn the sound of the voice. And the male, the male sea lions have great big sagittal crests. This is a comb jelly. So this looks like outer space. So somebody asked me what it was like to be underwater. Well, it's amazing. Every animal that I learn about and that I see is like better than the next. It is unbelievable. This, this is real. So the more we learn, the more we educate ourselves, the more we observe and can apply this to our lives. We can have fun with it, imagine it, and the more we see it, that the unbelievable is real, the more our imaginations become open. Now watch this, this is a hawksbill turtle. There are seven marine turtles. This one has a little fingernail there that it crawls along the reef with, but marine turtles are endangered as well. Much of their nesting grounds have been taken away. So in the ocean, we have these areas that are marine protected areas. So this is uh, an expedition that I went out on with Project Kaise and I lived on this ship for 22 days, never saw land. It was quite the expedition. We were going out to study marine debris in the North Pacific Gyre. Where is it all coming from? That's what everybody wants to know. 
80% of it comes from land. So all of the rivers go into the lakes or the lakes go into the rivers. It, it, it's like the lakes and rivers are the veins and arteries of our planet and the ocean is our heart. What is plastic? Well, many people don't realize that plastic is petroleum based. It's made of oil. So the question was, why does tiny pieces of plastic affect larger fish? This is what we call bioaccumulation. Can you guys help me out here? Everything we do on land. So we need to reduce. Remember, you can do anything. This is me in the swimming pool in my backyard when I was a little girl. And I grew up, and who would have ever thought that this is what I'd be doing now? So remember, you can do anything, and I believe in you. But you have to have the education, the imagination to continue to dream.